Hello, this is Anthony Verna of the Law Offices of Anthony Verna. I'm not in my home office, as you can see, but I am in an office. So let's suppose you are trying to apply for one of these. This is a trademark certificate. This means it's registered and you get all the benefits of registering the trademark, such as going to federal court and such and all damages thereof. Now, when you f apply for a trademark, let's suppose somebody has filed what we call an opposition proceeding against you. This comes in when your mark has passed the Patent and Trademark Office. So that means the Patent and Trademark Office has given its okay, but that's really not the final say. Your mark is then published in what's called the Official Gazette, and you can find the Official Gazette online. It used to be a book published quarterly that was this thick of all the trademarks that had passed the Patent and Trademark Office, but now it's actually published weekly online. So, now that it passes the Patent and Trademark Office and it goes into this publication period, then what? Well, it's meant for anybody to review all the trademarks that are out there. And today, just about every company that has a registered trademark, one of these, has a computer program that says, here are the marks out there that are close to your marks, and for whatever reasons they are. Those companies, because they have benefits due to trademark law, can then file what we call an opposition proceeding. And they say, we object to your trademark, and here are the reasons why. Now, it's not litigation, but I still want you to think of it as litigation. It's, it's you know, proceeding to block your trademark ap application, and therefore it's a proceeding to block your use of the trademark. Some people have called me and said, you know what, I, I don't want to challenge, I just want to let it go. But then if you let it go, you can get a default judgment. And what does that mean? That means you've lost. And then that means you can't use the mark. So hopefully you can, you can still fight it and still challenge it. But like I said, think of it as a lawsuit because you are the defendant. If you go to the, to the website where all of the opposition proceedings are listed, you as the filer to try to get one of these, you are the defendant. And so that means you're, you're going to be facing legal issues. So I highly suggest that you get a trademark attorney because registration and use go hand in hand. And I've said that before. If you're able to use a mark, you're able to register it. If you're able to register it, you're able to use it. You don't get a registration unless you actually use the mark. However, your first step is to file what we call an answer. If you were sued because of, say, somebody slipping and falling on your pavement outside, would you be filing your own answer there? I don't think so. This is, like I said, not quite litigation, but it's very similar to litigation. You're going to have evidence come out. You're going to have to write briefs at the end. And most people really aren't, handled, aren't able to, to handle it. So again, if you're looking for this, and you're caught up in a trademark opposition proceeding, it's because somebody wants to stop you from having this, which means somebody wants to stop you from using your mark as well. They go hand in hand, and if you have a Facebook page with that trademark on it, if you have a mailing list with that trademark on it, if you have a website with that trademark on it, if you have events with that trademark on it, all of those will have to change if you don't fight somebody fighting you. So I suggest that if you have a trademark opposition proceeding, if you're facing this, one, don't do it alone, because it's not that easy. And two, remember, the Patent and Trademark Office doesn't have the final say. This step is the final say. And you'll probably need somebody with experience in order to, do, in order to get your mark through, because you need this in order. At that point, you need this. At that point, you need to fight in order to get this. My name is Anthony Verna. The Law Offices of Anthony Verna, and you can reach me at 917-348-0108. Thank you.